What is up guys? It's time for the long awaited, long anticipated, long asked for collection walkthrough video. And we've got quite a selection of iPod related items to look at. Before we start, I've got a few disclaimers. Number one, none of the iPods are for sale in this video. So I'm not open to offers at this time. Number two, I'm not trying to flex on anyone with my collection. It's more of a living iPod encyclopedia, a tool for reference for me and the rest of the community. And number three, let's have some fun. So we've sorted through my collection and this is only a fraction of it. Uh, Cole, as my witness, it's maybe a quarter of it, maybe even a, a fifth, right? This is a drop in the bucket. Uh -huh. It's the tip of the iceberg. So here's our first iPod. It's a box for a 20 gig monochrome iPod here. Fairly compact box for the time. You'll see some of these other older ones are quite large. This is one of my favorites. Um, it is 20 gig monochrome, 2004, uh, but it's uh, Jeep engraved. One curiosity with this iPod, it seems like there was not only the company engraving, but there was another personalization up at the top that was kind of scratched out. So, ooh, we've got a U2 special edition iPod video here. I love these boxes and I love the inside box, the artwork of the band members. Monochrome ones actually came with a poster of the U2. I've never hung one up because I don't want to ruin the poster forever. One fun fact about the U2 iPods, how to tell an authentic one from a reproduction is the lock hold switch up here on the real ones is going to be actually red. Here's a standard production iPod video and the lock hold switch on it is orange and not red. So I've got a few YouTube special edition videos floating around in the collection and I made sure to get one enhanced, one non-enhanced. People seem to think for whatever reason that the YouTube special edition iPod video only came in 5.5. It's not true. There are some non-enhanced 2005 uh, no search function iPod videos out there. We're gonna see which one this is. See if there's a search function and there is. So this is a 5.5 U2. Now I've got another one here, NA452 LL-A. Now this is gonna be the non-enhanced 2005. Still have the seal on it. See the red lock switch. The iPod has been unboxed before it's been used. I've definitely taken a look at it myself. And you can see there are scratches, but ultimately like quite nice. All right, so we've got MA452 LL and we're gonna go into music here and you can see it's not enhanced. So no trickery at all. And we can even match it to the serial number on the box here. They're very real, the non-enhanced U2. They do both say 2006 on the back for the copyright date. So I'm not sure I could recommend any uh, at a glance information to identify one from the other. Oh, cool, I love this one. So this you might've seen on my YouTube or TikTok. Um, I don't remember when I got this, where I got it from, but it came with this really sick metal case. I mean, inside the iPod is absolutely meant. Oh, there she is. Wow. Certainly one of the coolest iPod cases I think I've ever seen. Really very nice. It does a great job of keeping this thing basically open box. Go and take a look at that. Not an, even a scratch on this thing at all. It's beautiful. Before we put it away, uh, it is sort of a fun fact that this is the thickest, heaviest, biggest iPod Apple ever made. 20 gig dual platter hard drive, basically two 10 gig hard drives stacked on top of each other. And they call that innovation. I'm gonna do a mini here. I don't, does this have a? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, it's just kind of floating around. Yeah, it is kind of floating around in here. We've got a first generation iPod mini box. Uh, I think this is one that Cole wanted to see. Uh, he's got a soft spot for the mini. Whew. Literally it is literally floating around in here. I think it was supposed to be like this. I'm not too sure what would have gone right there. Oh, the clip. Yeah, the clip. I don't think we have another one. Oh, we do. Clip we do. Clip. Okay. Let's see how it's supposed to look. So we've got a blue iPod mini box here. Let's see if I can open it the right way this time. Oh, nope. No, it's the same, same situation here. We don't have a clip with us right this instant, but we'll put a picture on screen of what it would look like if there was a clip in the box, if it was complete in box. Certainly a very nice box though, a great example. So we've got any accessories. So it came with headphones, the iTunes install CD, Firewire power adapter, a USB cable, and I think a Firewire cable as well. So it looks like we've got a USB cable in this one that seems to have reached the end of its life. Really nothing else in here aside from the CDs and the warranty and manual and whatnot. I'm gonna take a really quick look 
at the other box. Let's see if there's any accessories in there. It really does just float around in there. What a terrible design. Maybe with the seal, it would have fit so tightly that it wouldn't have fallen out of its little enclosure here, but I don't know. Empty. Empty, great. Ooh. All right, up next, we've got our iPod Touch fifth generation. Uh, it looks like this one's gonna be on iOS 6. It's absolutely meant to. Really just gorgeous. I mean, not a scratch or a dent. And it should have some juice. I really hope so. There it goes. So while well, it's turning on, take a look at the rest of the box here. We've got our kind of setup. Hello, little pamphlet. Quite the time capsule. Now, I remember this one specifically because it wasn't reset before the seller sent it off and it still has the new badge on Find My. Do we dare open Find My and remove the new badge? No, it's a perfect <laughs> Oh, come on. What would happen? I would cry. Okay, we're gonna turn it off. Preserve this. That is truly a piece of history. This is one of my favorite things about iOS 6 and below. <laughs> really a very nice touch. That was always cool. I know some people found it annoying to not be able to see their wallpaper, but it speaks to a different kind of design language. It was a different time, wasn't it? So for the collection video, I set aside all of my iOS 6 iPod Touch 5s. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Can't say I really have. Here we go. Ooh, that was great. Right. If you're a coal head, let us know in the comments. Here comes. Boom. So we've got our is it an iPad 2? It is an iPad 2, 6.1.3. It's gonna be a coal reaction. Okay. So this one's running six. You can tell because that stupid white clock. I don't know why they had a different clock wow, icon. That is a white clock. So this was the first time a clock app was on an iPad. Interesting. It wasn't in five. They added it yeah. in six. It's all wow. Yeah, it's all wow, silver. Wow, that is a weird clock. It's all silver, all white. I don't Dang. know why they felt the need to redesign the clock app for yeah. iPad. I made my first ever videos on this. We had a stop motion app. See if there's music on here. Wow, that is a strange music app. Oh yeah, that yeah, is yeah. A strange music app. All your stuff. Well, so they they keep that layout on phones of the bottom tabs, but on the iPad mm -hmm. they make them these wide bars. Yeah. Google Plus. Google Plus, RIP. The split yeah. keyboard showed oh up. Gosh. Undock and split showed up. If I ever start using my iPad keyboard in the split mode, please check me into rehab because something is seriously wrong. No, this is based. You don't oh. know what you're talking about. No, 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 you're no. actually insane. You're going to go to jail. Not. You're going to jail watch no this video. And, and of course, the classic newsstand. So we had a bunch of iPad second generations in my school mm -hmm. and it had iOS 6 on them. So there was this bug where if you had them in like wiggle mode, you could glitch apps into the newsstand and then, yeah. I put all the apps on one of these iPads at school into a folder and then I put the folder in newsstand. So you would open this and there was an app folder and when you tried to open that it would crash and come back with zero apps on the home screen. Mm -hmm. And the teacher freaked out, she thought I hacked the iPad and I was banned from computers for like the rest of my freshman year. Teachers physically moved me away from their computers. Like in class, they rearranged their seating chart. Hello to future Cole. I hope I'm not ruining anything right now, but this is definitely still recording. This is Pyro Films FX. This is the guy who made x rec uh, jailbreak free sc screen recorder. This video is nine years old. This is the video that taught me how to do the glitch. Hey, tap on it, slide to the left, and then they should be in. Okay, okay. Well, we can do this. The folder that we want to put the folder inside of has to be on the second page. The folder has to be on the third. So we're going to put lifestyle inside of one games, okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> the next part is we want to put that inside a newsstand. Oh. Oh. What I have created is a respring button. Boop. <laughs> that folder should now be gone. That, that folder has been completely erased. So newsstand is empty, but you'll notice that one games is nowhere to be found. This is games, this is a different one. No way this guy locked himself out. Cole. Oh, I guess you guys don't even really know who I am. Yeah, hi, I'm Cole. I do comedy, I do sketches. I've had a couple little silly viral moments. You've probably seen me and don't even know it. Hey, who the hell are you? This is my channel now. No, this is my channel. No, 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 no. What are you doing in here? No, if you if you touch me, I'll pee. I'll pee in the chair. I swear to God. There we go. So see now we have folders, and look, the folders don't appear, but the app icons do on the shelf. So then we just it respring. 
<laughs> You're crashing Springboard completely. Yeah. So there's no more apps on the device. Like, the apps are apps just gone. No, they're on the device and they'll come back at a full restart. Now, Cole, I don't mean to bully you or anything like that, but I know this. You use your iPhone without orientation lock on. Why is that? Look. Mm -mm. Look at how much better it just got. That is annoying. So this is quite the piece here. We've got our iPod Nano retail display. I'm not too sure if this came from an Apple store, Best Buy. Regardless, very cool. It is quite heavy. And these iPods are actually full demo units with the clicky buttons, but they're fully embedded within that acrylic. Yeah, one of my favorite pieces for sure. These retail displays are few and far between in the wild. So whenever I see one, um, I'll do whatever I can to get my hands on it. All right, give me a so we've got some accessories here. Everyone knows about the iPod socks, but did you know about the iPod tubes? There's a very famous picture of Steve Jobs on stage unveiling these. And in the case of the Nano, let's add a little bit of color to it. And so we have something new, a new accessory called Nano tubes. And what you can do is you can slip your iPod Nano right inside and it protects them. I don't think they sold very well because they're kind of hard to come by. Uh, so we've got a iPod Nano first gen here. Mission Impossible 3 iPod. And we're gonna put a tube on it. So there you go, we got a tube. Wow, that's actually really nice. The click wheels sort of lowered. I feel very responsive. It's great. Next up, um, these are pretty typical Apple earbuds. Um, I was unaware they actually came in a retail box like this. Now typically in Apple products that come bundled with these earbuds, they'll be kind of wrapped up really tight so they can slide into the box. These are sealed and it's kind of a big box so I'm wondering if they'll be packaged differently. There's not quite a pull tab on these. Interesting packaging. Yeah, so kind of a letdown. They just kind of come wrapped up like they do in iOS devices. We've got our iPod third gen leather carrying case. Sort of like a belt clip situation here, the, the Apple logo. I actually see quite a few of these, but not many with the box still. No way. Someone put a sleeve. I had no idea there was a sleeve in here. That's pretty sick. Yeah, these are hard to come by. This was actually for the iPod video and not the iPod third gen, as this is. I will take it. That is a W right there. Got an iPod mini armband. Oh, wow. I've actually never looked at this. This is a pretty stupid looking armband. You got your big iPod text right there. And it's just sort of a, a clip for your arm. Pepsi. Snap in, do not slide. That's right. It's pretty in there. I like it. Okay. And then we've got our iPod Nano dock. Just dock. I always thought that was funny. Probably the last two items for this episode. They're both iPod Nano lanyard headphones. I believe these were also for working out. And it's a lanyard with a headphone built in it so you can avoid the dangling headphone cords. It's really cool. You slip it over your neck and this is what it's like. You lift the iPod Nano up and the display is perfect as you can see here. It's really, really neat. I did notice when I was doing some browsing that there's two models. This one here is for the Nano 2 and this one here is for the Nano 1. Interesting piece of Photoshop work there. I was drawn to these because they have the iPod in-ear headphones design and these sort of have these pretty typical 2007 Apple earbud design. This is a weird design. They are never going back in quite like that ever again. Okay, here you go. And I think I'm gonna have to try these out as far as listening. I'm gonna be ready to go for a run here. I think this is the other iPod tube that I use to protect the transparent Nano 1. Uh, it seems pretty dead, but there she is. And I guess you just kind of dangle it right there, right? I'm expecting the same situation as the iPod in-ear headphones. I just kind of put it in like that. That actually sounds pretty good. I'd say it's about on par with ear pods. I'd say official rating, five out of 10, pretty average. Uh, for 2005, maybe pretty good. I think this was, had a retail price on it somewhere, $39.99, not, probably not a bad choice back then. $39. There's a custom LED, third gen. Very active member in the Discord, right there, that's who sold it to me. Big shout out for selling me this iPod, because uh, I do appreciate it, and thanks for installing Rockbox. So that was episode one of our collection walkthrough. Here's everything we went through in episode one. And I think we've got maybe six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 more with the big retail boxes, buckets full of stuff. So let me know if you guys want some more episodes of 
collection walkthrough. Smash like, let me know in the comments, what do you wanna see? And uh, I'll see you guys next time.